This is a truly disturbing urban legend that takes place in Arizona, and this is called the Slaughterhouse Canyon. This takes place about southeast of Kingsman, Arizona, and about an hour away from the Grand Canyon. This tale takes place in the 1800s, the late 1800s, when the gold rush started, and there was a family of four people, a father, a mother and two children. Now, the father moved the family down to Southwest because that's where the gold rush was taking a lot of place in. So he buy, gets his family a little cabin and that's where they stay while he goes out for weeks getting gold. So he would take a mule and go down to these mines to get gold for his family. To get, he promises them a better lifestyle in the future. And he also goes and gets them food and clothing and all kinds of stuff while he's gone so the family kind of relies on the, their father now here's how the story and where it starts to get a little bit scary is that typically the mother would be concerned that the father would or her husband would never return and she's always got concerned because of this but he always came back but this one time he left kissed her goodbye kissed his kids goodbye and he never returned so this family in this wooden shack in Arizona ha were pretty much running out of food, utilizing it for like a few weeks to months. And then the, the mother's hoping that the father would return, but it just never happens. So eventually they begin to starve. And as a canyon, whatever noise is loud enough, it echoes. And this is exactly what happens. The kids are crying, screaming, dying of starvation, and their screams can be heard echoing from all the parts of the canyon, and the mother could just got in her head, and it was almost unbearable to think of this, to hear this. She started to hallucinate. She can't stand seeing her children dying right in front of her own eyes, these incredible, terrifying screams echoing across the canyons, back toward their little shack there it's just like, imagine how miserable this would be and it's your kids and this drove the mother insane to the driving point where she was not gonna let her kids suffer anymore and what happens next is just terrible and absolutely terrifying because of her kids starving this much, she could not take it anymore. She grabbed her husband's axe that he used for farming, and you know what happens next. She puts on the wedding dress, the white wedding dress she had on the day she had a wedding with her husband. Puts it on. Now, this is white, by the way. Keep this in your head. And she picks up this axe and just walks a little bit down the hallway toward where her kids are. And she ri raises this axe in the sky. And then she brings it down on both of her children, <coughs> killing them very slowly and brutally, cutting them into pieces. And once they're dead, she continues to chop and chop and chop, blood splattering all over onto her dress, onto the walls, everywhere. Her kids, just little pieces of flesh and blood and bone and just absolute gore and violence. Just, it's brutal, but this is what happened. So the mother gets like this wagon, puts all the pieces of the kids it's just disgusting to think of this all these tiny bits and pieces of gore puts them in this wagon um wheels the wagon down to the river and just pours all the pieces and she watches her children to what that remained of them wash away and you can hear her screams apparently to this day still according to locals they say every new moon if you go here you can see her in her bloody dress screaming you can hear her screams and the children's screams across the canyons now this is up for you to decide do you want to go there or not and do you believe this or not let me know in the comment section down below